And welcome, wonderful viewers. I am the audio barista. This is vlog 115. And in these vlogs, I talk about audio coffee and other things that keep me busy. I've got a lot of things that I want to cover for today. The weather in Rotterdam at the moment is hazy and cold. And the first thing I want to share with you is a request. So as you can see over there, 2,995 subscribers. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, help me out. Let's get over 3,000 subscribers and it's free. And now on to the important stuff. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of things happening because I'm doing stuff. Let's explain what's happening. And let's start with something that has been bothering me this week, but is not coffee related nor audio related. This is a Ethernet cable. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. But over there in the corner, there is a Ethernet hub that I use to connect the Ethernet cable coming from downstairs to feed the different uh, equipment like the Oppo that needs Ethernet connection. So this one is connected to that hub and goes to my laptop because i've had a lot of coaching online this weekend this is the table that i used but over here you can see the message the computer is being restored and it is already doing this for some two days now and it won't really progress but i think i broke my laptop now what was happening a few days ago i had a meeting online and it was already getting a little bit dark outside. So I thought, well, I have this little thing, which is a light that I like very much. This is from Olight. I like Olight. They make, I've been using this actually. They make little tiny and big, but they make this flashlight that is extremely uh, strong and whenever i'm working at the back of the rack i can use this one so i thought you know what it's getting dark let's have this thing and give myself a little bit of extra light so i placed the light onto my laptop right in the corner over there but the problem is i realized later this thing has a pretty big pretty strong magnet so when I placed this magnet over there after that it started giving me problems and had to reboot and now it says that it is restoring all kind of things so for those engineers out there people who are in the know could this magnet be the cause of this let me know okay so now you know why that is there this, this stuff is normally inside there. And I was thinking because I am always carrying these uh, setups up and down, I thought why not place them all over here so everybody can have a look at it, so I can have a look at it. And if I want to change a setup, I just plug in the power cords into the other one and I don't have to keep logging all those things up and down so that is what i'm busy with now this is heavy material i don't know what it's called in english i used this to fill up that having it uh, perform as some kind of base trap because a base trap is more or less a, a uh, space filled up with heavy absorptive absorptive materials so that's what I used it for. I uh, once tried to measure if it had any effect, but I used a crappy amateur way to measure it. So I did not measure any effect with or without, but if I'm listening in my room, I'm pretty sure I do hear a difference. So maybe it's just the crappy way that I try to measure it. So maybe I could change this and use it somewhere in the corner over there. That's what I might be doing. So I have an extra pair of loudspeaker cables here. These are the uh, ones that I got free with the Piega loudspeakers. And these are actually Piega 
speaker cables. So I can have maybe multiple sets over here. And because I have multiple power amps, I should have multiple sets of loudspeaker cable, being able to do different kind of loudspeakers, um, using them at the same time. Here are some CDs that are bought new. And for those of you who think, why CDs, everything is streaming. No, not everything is streaming. This one from Deborah Hansen Conant, Talking Hands, this album, I don't see it on uh, Spotify and I don't see it on Tidal. So no, it's not that everything is on streaming. Now this album, it's not something that I really like, but number three on here, which is called And Then He Kissed Me, which is a funny uh, uh, song, is something that I heard years and years and years ago. It's all, uh, mostly difficult to find this CD, so now I found it. Except for the thing that it was more damaged than I wanted to, so when putting it in the Rega over here, it did not want to play the first track. Now, I am only interested in track number three, so that's not a problem, but it wouldn't play the first track. I cleaned it and it still wouldn't play the first track. Now, this is interesting because over here, I have the uh, Audiolab transport and it plays track number one just fine. Now, what the Audiolab does is it reads the data, it puts it into a buffer and from that buffer it feeds the DA converter. So this means when it starts feeding the DA converter all kinds of error correction has already been done. So it gets a clean, clean signal to the DA converter. And as stated in the manual that this is especially uh, used to read even the more damaged CDs. Well, in this little test, it did. It played track one where this CD player, which is not a bad one, but it did not play track one. Okay, then there's this little box over here. So I was playing, you see over here, I have the AVM preamp that I'm using at the moment, playing the Rega integrated amp as just a power amp. So I was thinking, well, maybe I can use different uh, preamps. So I have the quad preamp and I have this passive preamp. So let's have a look how that went. Okay, so at this moment I am playing with the AVM preamp and this is connected to the Rega Mira 3 as a power amp. This plays pretty nice, but I thought, well, I have another preamp in my house. So let's change this one for another preamp. So the new preamplifier is connected. This is the quad from the 99 series. As you can see, there are the connections. There is all the way on this side is the phono lead coming from the turntable. Next to that is the output going from the preamp to the power amp. Over here we have three inputs for the DA converter, the Blue Sound streamer, and for the Oppo player, and there is power. There is a bit of a hum coming from the preamplifier, but I have one of those devices that should stop the hum. I tried that one before, but it didn't work, so let's see if it will work for this one. What I just demonstrated was the noise coming from the transformer inside this quad preamp. So let's do some troubleshooting. First off, it is connected to this PS Audio power regenerator and maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, I'm not a technical engineer, so maybe I should not even consider that, but I'm just going to try out things. So first thing is putting the power cable not into the regenerator, but putting it into the socket over there. The first test was unsuccessful. I plugged it in both ways to see if that made any difference, but the hum is still there. Let's consider the next step. 
One of the things that I bought recently, secondhand of course, is this thing. And this thing should help with transformer hum. And you put a cable in there, you put a cable in there. So this goes in between the power cable going to the preamp. So let's give that a try. Okay, next tryout. I put it in this power socket. So one goes in, one goes out, and this also does not help. I'm starting to think, because I've tried it in a few uh, setups, this thing. I think I may be coned on this thing. This thing may be broken. Anyways, this also does not work. So next idea, maybe something is wrong with the power cable that I'm using. So let's change that one. Unfortunately, putting another cable, a long one, all the way in there does not change the noise, the transformer noise coming from the unit. Let's try the other box one more time with two different cables. Okay, so now we have the Nordost cable going in there the long cable going from there to the preamp and still we have noise. Now this, this thing is getting its power from over here. So this one goes to the power regenerator and the other one goes to the power brick that you just saw. So this is all coming from the same source. So that's not the problem. I tried, of course, this socket, which is coming from another group. So that is not the problem. So, hmm, if you guys have any ideas, please tell me uh, down below. It might be that a thing like this, if this is broken, maybe that could be the solution. It should be the solution, but it isn't. So I'm not sure what other experiments uh, I could do. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is to plug in this cable into the power regenerator. And I believe then I have tried all the things that I could try to find out if I can uh, remove the transformer sound. Let's see what happens. So now the cable goes into the regenerator and there still is noise. Okay, so I was thinking about this and one way to counteract transformer noise is to get yourself a passive preamp which has no transformers inside it. Okay, so this works. As you can see, there is one output to the power amp. So this is a preamp out, and there's a second preamp out, and you can connect two sources. One is now connected, which is the VA converter, and we were playing from the CD transport. So this actually works. It's very simple. You have a volume, control and you can switch between these two uh, sources and that's it and yes this is what it looks like it is small it is very tiny so now we have full size amplification the Neukom is already a lot smaller and now we have this waste of space on this platform but I'm going to play with this passive preamp for a while okay so this thing is connected it has now two sources the DA converter from PS audio and the blue sounds streamer and there is of course still the output this thing is tiny the very first listening impression is not too good it sounds a bit muffled but let's give it some time 
and so now we have full size amplification we have mid size amplification and yeah let's call this mini and this is even passive amplification well it's not amplification of course it's just rerouting the output from the source to the power amp giving you volume also because of the oscillas are so sensitive already at step one it will give you a uh, sound so let's see yeah well maybe halfway you can get it and you have your two sources now this thing is not very heavy so I connected it with some blue tack to the platform it works it sounds a bit muffled but let's see give it a few days let's see what I think of it okay so after a few hours of playing it became a lot better and I realized I was playing that first tunes from the blue sound not via the DA converter but from the blue sound itself the blue sound has a very nice duck but it is more friendly and more a bit more rounded off than the DA converter from PS audio so when I switched playing to the audio lab 6000 CDT the CD transport via the PS audio DA converter it sounded a lot more crisp which is a good thing so well let's keep playing and to finish off this vlog of course you're wondering what about the new equipment that I'm looking for so for those of you who don't know I sold my amplification which was a tube preamp and a tube power amp mono amps actually they were getting too old they were getting too much problems so I sold them for a good price but now I'm looking for some new stuff and I still haven't decided every now and then because I'm looking second secondhand some options come along I do some research and it still is, was not something that I thought well yes that's it I did decide that I want a preamp and a power amp preferably mono power amps probably tubes single-ended triode probably is what I'm going to end up with I'm still looking for options so if you have any idea I mean a lot of you already helped me out but well it needs to be on the second-hand market also instead of new because that always gets you a better deal so that's what I'm rooting for okay anyways let's finish off today's vlog okay so for me today is Thursday I'll be releasing this video on Friday wishing you a happy weekend and I'll see you in the next one